This is a collaboration with Stephen Freeborn. His videos are great, they're real funny, and his machines are actually rare and interesting. Go check them out. This is the Milomatic gas mileage computer. It was a small handheld device to help you track your miles per gallon. The name Milomatic was used to describe at least two other car related mechanisms. The Edsel had a Milomatic, which was really just a two speed Ford Omatic. I guess those miles per gallons were really good for those big Utah families. There was this snake oil Milomatic to improve your miles per gallon. There's a long, proud history of naming things Omatic, both vehicular and non vehicular. The uh, Jet Omatic was a coffee maker. The Toothomatic was invented by 12 year old Henry Hughes. And the Chopomatic, I think I had one of those growing up. The Omatic that we care about could be found in 1957 for $2.95. It was invented by Aaron W. Sherwood. The W stands for Wiley. It was built by Aero Labs, which was founded by Sherwood in 1947, and is still a name in wind tunnel circles today. This is the Milomatic. It has uh, instructions on the back. Super helpful. It has this little red lever you can kind of turn to input stuff, and these windows that you can look at stuff. To enter in an odometer reading, you move the dial counterclockwise. Aerolab used the word speedometer instead of odometer, and move to the right instead of counterclockwise. A couple of notes for you, Aerolab, if you're watching for your next iteration. The red dial has sort of a double register disc. You only enter the last three numbers of the odometer, so if you get to 500, the whole thing starts over again. So let's pretend the odometer says 5,300 miles, and we have traveled 300 miles. We would start spinning the handle until the dial said 600. We use the last three digits of the odometer, and now we'll have to switch to the top scale. But no problem. We'll switch over until it gets to 600. And that's all we've done. We're done with the handle. Now we're going to move to the blue and white registers. The blue registers, the gasoline one, will show us how many gallons we put in. If we put in 10, we line that up and see that we got 30 miles per gallon. If we put in 15, then we would have got 20 miles per gallon. It can't do vehicles that get more than 40 miles per gallon. Sorry, 2015 Chevy Cruze Eco drivers. Then you place the handle clockwise into home position. The red dial stays put and pray your kids don't screw up your readings by moving that handle in between Phillips. So I decided to test the milo Matic by firing up the old 2022 Chevy Spark with active trim. That adds the unique bumper, the luggage rack, the fog lamps, and the leatherette seats. And here was my odometer reading at time of filling up. In my MPG chart, like the one I used to use in college, this is how it panned out. There's the new miles, minus the old miles gave me 171, divide that by 5.198 gallons, and I get 32.9 miles per gallon. Pretty good, Chevy, pretty good. Now let's bring in the star. I have to enter in the, the new odometer reading, just the last three numbers, and instantly I see there's a problem. The numbers are not how I left them. That might have happened when it fell from my visors. Fortunately, I wrote down the odometer readings, that would get real frustrating if you were relying on this device. So I'll re-enter the original odometer reading, which reveals a second problem. The clicks are a little bit difficult to line up with the dashes. I don't know exactly what's happening there, but I can get pretty close. So now I'll dial in the new mileage, which was 21,933. Gonna make it all the way here, right? There, I got there real fast, kind of on accident. So now I'll check the 5.2 gallons I filled it up with, with the hash mark down below. It looks something like 33 miles per gallon, exactly what I got. Pretty good, Malomatic, pretty good. In the end, I don't know what I think about this device. I mean, it lacks a convenient visor clip so promised in the patent. Plus, I don't know exactly how it works. The patent mentions the same math I used, but it also clearly shows two dials working in some logarithmic fashion 
and the patent also has a complicated equation? I don't know. You'd have to be a mathematician to figure it out. Fortunately, I know a guy. Okay, what do we got here? The mile o -matic. All right, I guess you do this kind of thing. Okay. The thing I noticed right away is the weird sort of wobbly motion. Look at this. You start turning it, and the scale kind of moves to the left. But then at some point, it starts going the other way. What kind of sense does that make? The thing is riveted together, so there's no nice way to open it. But the patent drawings actually explain this. Of course, they did kind of over-promise it on the patent. I need that visor clip, A.A. Ron. Anyway, the white part where you see the miles per gallon scale, that's this piece, and it's attached to the rivet at the bottom. And inside, there's a spring that kind of pushes the white plate to the right, and there's some kind of little peg or something that bumps up against the red part with the handle. So anyway, when you turn the crank, that strange shape of the red part makes it do that weird wobbly motion. Yeah, look at that go. So that's why it moves in that weird way, but what kind of sense does that make? Like, for the math, I mean, like, if the amount I drive is in this range, then the miles per gallon is gradually decreasing, but then there's some kind of magical spot right around here where the math starts going the other way. I'm suspicious. This whole thing has me suspicious. I mean, the idea is, like, I know how many miles I drove, and I also know how much gas I use, so I can plug those things together and get my miles per gallon. And actually, the math is really easy. It's just... Miles per gallon is miles divided by gallons. But to do this simple equation, you need two things, the miles and the gallons. Two pieces of information you need to plug into this machine somehow. But the mile o -matic has only one crank. You see, this stupid thing is actually kind of smart. There's some equations in the patent there, but really this is just razzle-dazzle. I mean, yeah, that is what it's doing, but I think they're making it sound fancier than it is. This is really a machine just for dividing, which is, of course, just a special kind of multiplying. And for multiplying in 1955, you're probably going to use the slide rule. One number you slide, the other number you look. Like for 2 times 3, I slide to the 2, then I look at the 3, and the answer is 6. Now, a nice slide rule has a movable cursor to help you look closely, but, you know, you can also just, like, look. And this is how, on the slide rule, you can multiply by two inputs, even though you only slide it once, because the second input is just when you look, and nothing on the machine has to move for that. It's really just two scales, but when you slide it, the scales get repositioned in a very particular way to give you the answers you want. And wouldn't you know it, this weird crank does the same thing. These two scales up there have the same spacing that you would see on a slide rule, and the crank just makes them slide alongside each other. It's doing division rather than multiplication, which is why the two scales are running in opposite directions. All this stuff in the patent? Okay, genius, we get it. You know logarithms. Come on, just say it's a slide rule. But now I'm even more confused about that weird back and forth movement on this thing. A slide rule shouldn't do that. The math just won't work if you start backing it up in the middle. And looking carefully at the mile matic the math really doesn't work. Like here, I'll zero out the miles, and then let's say I only drive 10 miles using 10 gallons of gas. This is totally unrealistic, but we can still try it out. I started at zero, turn it to the 10 miles, and then look at the scale, which reads... 8 miles per gallon, which is wrong. It should be 1 mile per gallon. Turns out this thing just gives wrong answers at the beginning of the scale. It only comes out accurate after the weird reversal in the movement, and the accuracy really kicks in around 100 miles. See here, if I drive 100 miles, the scales line up where they should. Shouldn't there be some kind of warning, or like a turn past here line? I don't know. Uh, this thing is pretty cute. It's a cleverly disguised slide rule. It sounds and feels great to turn it with that little clickety ratchet in there, and all just to divide one number by another. Was it really worth it? Probably not, but somebody bought this thing, probably put it in their basement for 70 years, and somehow Stephen Freeborn got it. And now I got it. I probably won't use it, but I know just where to keep it.